Welcome to Pagan Crafting. I'm your host, Kara. Today we have spring crafts and rituals. We are looking at eight crafts, enchanted seeds, plant divination, and a star correspondences. We're going to have some fun bringing some of the outdoors in and making some season, seasonal crafts for your altar or for decorating your home. Join me today with Pagan Crafting and let us spring into action and come out of your hibernation. spring she's not quite here yet for us where we are it's not as pretty but we'll get out and play we'll still get out and run and play and have fun in the snow with friends and our pups maybe we'll discover some fairy portals that we can walk through made out of the branches that come through we will find pathways that we normally wouldn't see and be able to find in the summertime. Things outside are not yet changed in green yet for me, but decorating inside will help me get into the spirit of spring. Springtime is a time to stretch your wings once again. Breathe in the fresh air. Take in the love. Is it a time to clean? It is a time to regenerate. Is it a time for new beginnings? As a fresh water slowly starts to melt. New beginnings and new experiences and new sprouts are the beginnings for the spring equinox. It's a time to make room for new energy to come in. It's a time to bring in growth, change, a new vibe, a new energy. Now where I'm from, it remains colder a little bit longer. So it, it's March now and I can finally start my seeds but I've done a lot of cuttings I need to nourish and grow things I'm a green witch I need to help things and help things grow and watch things grow all winter long and it's so hard for me not to be able to tend to a garden or walk out into the forest so I choose hard to plant hard to grow or long-term germination seeds such as avocado apple pomegranate things that take a long time i use these also as my manifestation seeds i like to enchant these seeds with the question or my goal or the manifestation that i wish to take place nourishing this seed along and helping it grow is sometimes will determine the outcome so it's a really cool way of uh, plant divination as well now with plant divination depending how the plant grows is it grow is it taking a long time to grow do you have to give it extra water by the way one thing that is really good for your plant to start it is a little bit of rim water is a great way to give it its little extra boost. I use new moon water and full moon water. Now I enjoy getting seeds. They are finally out and about in the stores. I'm so excited. I don't have to order my seeds online. I still like getting my heirloom seeds online though. But I would need, I need to start my garden now. I 
am so excited. I need to start little green things that I finally can because it's finally the right time of the year here. I've been collecting eggshells and they are great little holders while your seeds are starting. Now, one thing you do have to remember when you plant your eggshell with your sprouts into the ground is make sure you give them a crunch or else they'll remain root bound and then you want to, uh, then your little plant will die. So make sure again, crunch it up when you throw it in the ground. Meantime, they're perfect little holders. I'm using a little starter dirt here. I rakied everything because I'm a dork and I rakied my dirt and my eggs and my seeds and I, I just I love enchanting everything and blessing things and helping it along with each little spoonful throw in your manifestation for the year maybe each egg you can write on a goal or a dream or something you'd like to have and then just nourish those goals nourish them along so have fun with your manifestation eggs and seeds. Paint the eggs. Maybe for each member in your family, you can paint their astrology sign on it or their astrology constellation with maybe a little wish for the new year. Or maybe you all can make one for the family or for friends and give wishes to everyone, giving, a, giving away a manifestation egg with a little, um, may I suggest, using a bean. I use beans in my manifestation eggs so I can see it grow faster because, again, I'm an Aries, so I like to see things move a little faster. This is why I like growing herbs and this is why I like growing mushrooms because they grow fast for me. I need plants that I could see some significance to my nurturing. <laughs> That's just the way that I need to see some movement. This time of the year is a time that I feel restless but been able to be able to bring the outdoors in with now being able to plant some seeds to make some spring crafts. It means so much to me. Astara means the month of beginnings. It is so cool and I'm a, such a spring baby. I'm born in the spring as well. Different ritual ideas that you can incorporate into your craft for this time of the year is incorporate chocolate into your spring rituals. You can hold your rituals at dawn or in the morning. You can color and enchant eggs like these, what we're doing here, or you can make them into seeds and little plants and make them into seeds, make them into little homes for seeds, sorry. Um, you can enchant eggs for health, wealth, prosperity, anything you can think of. It is a time to clean up and change out your altar, dust it off and make room for the new. Celebrate the return of the goddess, maybe an offering to Persephone or conjuring uh, maybe potted plants and gifting it to loved ones. You can sew new clothes even, or make new jewelry. Is a time you can collect moon water and use that to water your plants. My garden is not very big this year, so I'm just starting some of my main herbs. I do love growing my herbs outside, but I'm desperate for a lot of rosemary. I've become quite addicted to rosemary actually on all cooking and my teas <laughs> so I have grown a plethora of rosemary I would like to attempt again to grow some oak trees I have some uh, little acorn seeds from a few years ago and they grew very well so I hope the seeds are still good and we will see how they grow so I've had these seeds for a number of years they come from Poland actually that was given to me and when they were brought over uh, about five, five, six years ago. So hopefully they're still good. Maybe their seeds are older than this. This little guy, I think I was using him to make my fairies. I've done acorn fairies on this channel. I, so I thought I'd use him for good luck. Maybe that little face will help me help him grow. I'll have to mark that one. 
The acorns are such a cool representation of strength and that is what we need for this year after getting through the COVID times is extra strength and love. These are easy to break open and plant. I love it. Now, different herbs that I've chosen here are ones that I do use quite a bit in my cooking, my cooking witchery, or my spells. I love having them outside. I really snack on them quite a bit. I do buy tomato plants, but I found these seeds and I thought it'd be great to start them right away. I don't know if you have, but I love growing my tomato plants all year round and they will bloom and flower and fruit for you all year round. Sage, of course, is a wonderful one to have too. I use it in my cooking and for my smudging quite a bit. Using moon water, of course, to kind of enchant, enhance, and power up my little seeds. The rest of my seeds I'm going to keep for later, growing lots of mint, catnip, some extra uh, chives, lots of rosemary, and my little manifestation bean. What I've done here, I've created a little manifestation bean for all my friends. We went to a little a star get-together, and I made these candle eggs for them. Each candle has a bit of mint for wealth and prosperity, some thyme to boost career luck. I put some clothes in there for in spell enchantment as well as a shamrock for good luck. I have a little bit of bay leaf for the strength and balance in there. And I also placed in some agate crystals to enhance and bring clarity and insight. That was my little Astara gift for my friends this season. Now my first batch of candle eggs that I made for this year was a little bit of a mishap. They look gorgeous. This one comes out of the egg uh, carton quite easily, but lo and behold, I spilt a little wax down in each. I didn't think it would matter, but they're stuck in there for good now. So we're gonna make a craft out of them. I am not gonna waste them. I thought, let's make something together and we'll make it work. Cause I do not wanna waste these beautiful candles. These are my luck, good luck and good fortune wax that I did on the live show. This was the remainder of the wax with all the beautiful herbs and everything I had in there. I had a bit of salt, mint, thyme, basil, shamrock plant, dandelion root, bay leaf, cinnamon, and cloves. There was some patchouli in there as well, and some garnet as well as the agate. So let's just work, let's just pretend that we glued these eggs in here. So if you wish to follow along, <laughs> You can glue your eggshells into the carton. And the egg carton is gonna create a base for us to make it into a really cool little candle nest holder. So I'm just shaving off the outside of the paper and just cleaning it up so we don't see any of the carton. It's cool if I see the shells, I like that. Next, we're gonna have some fun with some hot glue. Just pile it on, and we're gonna lay down some moss around the edges. First, I was gonna make them like just individual little nest guys, and then I accidentally placed them all together, and they made a perfect little circle nest. So we're gonna create a larger candle holder out of this when we're done. You never know where happy little mistakes or accidents can get you because now we're making something fun. And I, I don't know what it is with moss, but moss seems to make everything look good. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's a, I don't know if it's a craftaholic thing. Comment down below if you think that moss makes everything look good because I really do put it on a lot of my crafts more than you guys are aware of because I do do a lot more crafting that it's even off the channel. <laughs> 
So what I do is I give a little trim up after I get that on. So that way it's, we don't want anything catching fire if we are gonna light the candles later. So I'm just gonna give it a wee trim. And also, so it's got a good base, I'm just trimming off around the, the bottom as well. And there we have it. Let us continue with all the rest of the little eggs. That looks kind of cool, even on its own. You can give that away as a little gift. So I have a little wooden base. You could use a piece of cardboard. You can use just cut out a piece of round cardboard. It's actually probably perfect for that. Or a paper plate too. Because we're going to cover the rest of the cardboard when we're done with some more moss. So that's why we didn't bother painting it because it's all going to be hidden. Lovely. Yay. It's quick and easy. Now I want to hide the plate a little bit here. So I'm going to add the moss as I was saying earlier. So just shove it in there. Make a little nest out of there. This could be a really lovely little centerpiece for your outdoor table, for your inside, your dining room table, maybe somewhere cool off to the side, wherever you'd like on your altar. Here I'm using lilac branches. I trimmed off a lilac tree that I have planted just outside my door. And the lilac is a May blooming flower. It only flowers for two, three, or four weeks, depending on where you are in the world. It's a special flower. It's one of the loveliest tokens of spring. They are very beautiful shrubs with sweet smelling flowers. Originally, lilacs were planted to repel all evil and planted near the entranceway. Lilac were believed to send out positive vibrations ruled by Venus. But when the flowers are cut, they brought into a home, they would cleanse any living space. And they'll also remove any unwanted spiritual presence. Since lilacs are ruled by Venus, they are also used in love spells. So wonderful fertility. Our next craft is a simple wreath. A few items that you need is just some plastic eggs, some feathers, some white paint, primer will do, some Mod Podge paint, a matte finish, and a little glass frame. First, what we're going to do is we're going to take out all these little plugs and strings. I'm going to keep these for my uh, kusanka, the Ukrainian Easter egg. Maybe I might use those to hang my eggs in the tree for my goals and dreams for the year. I like it, so I'll keep these. So we're going to remove them all first. And simply we're going to glue all the eggs along the ring. Now it is easy to glue the brass ring, not the egg. And what I did is I put parchment paper underneath my brass ring so that way if any glue sticks, it actually comes off so, so easily. Starting off with your larger eggs first, and then you could use more eggs if you'd like, or you can use the smaller eggs to fill in. To be honest, I wish I had a few more smaller eggs. It would have been cooler. And just placing them haphazardly, kind of keeping it around in a circle but just have some fun with it there's no rhyme or reason there's no laws to where anything goes just have some fun we're, what we're going to do is we're going to spray paint all this anyway so you don't have to color coordinate this in any way Whew, trust me i wanted to it was hard not to there we go let's head outside here now 
Now, don't mind my weird thing to the left. I was trying to make a Mandela out of, and then I got bored, so I never finished it. I'm working on it. So just some nice white primer paint or white paint. You can go with any color that you like if you wish to go with some fun colors and then do some crazy colors with your feathers. Man, have at her. Let me know what colors that you chose. So we are done and dry. Now, just using some cool little feathers here. I love these little guys because there are some teeny, 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 tiny ones in these too. So that's going to be great for my little eggs on this piece as well. Look at all of them. They're so beautiful. Oh, this one definitely needs a home. So what is this one? Okay, I'm getting distracted here. Oh, look at that. See how pretty they're going to look on the white? So next what we want to do is grab our glue. Now you could choose a gloss Mod Podge or you can choose a matte finish. It's totally up to you. I'm going matte, not very shiny. You could also clear coat it with a clear spray if you wish to at the end that would look gorgeous too again i'm just feeling the matte finish so that's what i'm rocking in with this one but it's totally up to you so what you want to do first is kind of size up the feather cut it to size lay down a healthy amount of glue first and you're going to go with the way the feather grows or whether it grows out. So wherever you're brushing, follow the lines of the feather. Don't go against the grain. I kind of patted the end with some extra glue to try to get down the, the little stem, if you will, the little pokey part. Now, is, this would be a really cool little fertility of new ideas, new beginnings. For every little feather you lay down, you can lay in a little manifestation or enchantment for your home or your altar, if you wish, for your friends, family. Just take your time with the glue it will dry out nice and clear so you don't have to worry that you're putting too much on and then just have out or have some fun when you go against the grain like I just did there accidentally uh, you can see how it spread out and it didn't quite want to uh, fight against that glue so always go with the way of the of the feather this one I split apart I wanted to see just the fluff and the and the color part it looked pretty beautiful and there we have it this is all dried about 24 hours and you can see there's no excess glue at all now a great thing to do for this time of the year is I is clean up the altar mine so does I got leather down but I think it's time to remove the leather but I'm gonna keep it for one more season but it's time to give a little dusting Maybe change the color of your altar, change it to the color to match the season. So that would be the more the pastels, the yellows, the baby pinks, baby blues, uh, blue, the grass green, kind of like the softer colors for the year. You could use many correspondences such as herbs and plants on your altar. Such as acorns, daffodils, dogwood, Easter lily, gingy, ginger, honeysuckle, hyssop, Irish moss even. You can go with pine, pine trees, even some birch trees, alder, ash, 
uh throw down some moonstone some roars rose quartz or aquamarine the planetary ruler is mars maybe you want to throw something to represent the planet mars in there too amethyst is a really good one too red jasper i decided to use rose quartz in mine i have a great big chunk of it feeling the love for the season so i decided to throw that in there now colors are really good as i was mentioning before incense african violet ginger jasmine lavender lotus uh, rose sage and strawberry represents this time of the year animals that represent this time of the year chicks lamb dragons hares pegasus snake rabbit robins swallows and unicorns the symbols represent the baskets budding twigs butterflies bees cocoons colored ribbons eggs flowered a four-leaf clover a hare rabbit lamb new moon pussy willows sprouting bulbs and wildflowers food to represent is chocolate dairy foods dandelions eggs eggnog fish flower dishes seasonal fruit of the year for where your country is honey cakes hot cross buns jelly beans lamb leafy greens veggies lemonade mead milk nuts honey punch seeds sprout and seed sweet breads there's so many amazing things that you could use in your altar to represent spring astara the beautiful time of the year make your altar special and unique to you and you and you alone i have many things on my altar to represent i have the eye of odin here i have the eggs for my journeying for my shaking i have the balance of the scales to represent my daughter i have the nest of fertility of life coming in i have the ukrainian easter eggs with the bee of my healing hive of my love and my friends have some fun enjoy yourself thank you so very much for chilling out with me today Throw me down a little like up if you could. It supports my channel. Subscribe if you want to see some more videos coming your way. Have yourself a magical, magical day.